We were watching, actually, RSPN, and there was a man there named Mark Kasky, the founder of Steel Nation, and he made the greatest speech. And it didn't wasn't necessarily a Winston Churchill type speech, because Winston didn't wear a pith helmet, and Winston's hair wasn't quite as long as Mark's hair, and Winston was brought up in the Oxford tradition, but it was actually just as good. He actually gave me ideas. I thought I was the one that was exposing how bad it's going to be in Pennsylvania and our country if we stop doing the fossil fuel thing, because, you know, in Germany they stopped and the country was ready to go down the tubes. Now they're building a coal plant a week, a coal plant a week, and Angela is no longer with us. She's no longer with us. But where is Mark Kasky? Is he still around? Oh, look at him right here. Oh, he's probably shocked. I don't know who the hell he is, but you gave the greatest speech. Would you come up? Can I shake your hand? Man, you are something, Mark. Winston Churchill, I'm not. I was born and raised in Carolina and in Pittsburgh as an adult, and I've been a yinzer for a long time, President. You know, the war, the war on energy, and in, in, in by the by the left, it is, and it's not just here; it's it's worldwide. What's happening in Europe right now is a shame. To to, to even think about EVs here in America, when the technology's not there. We would have to cover two thirds of America with solar panels to create to power this great country of ours. We have the Marcellus Shell right below our feet in West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. But New York's not bright enough to take advantage of it. Those Cu- that Cuomo family kind of shut that down a while ago, President. We have a, We were on stage with President Trump in 2019 at the, at the convention center in Pittsburgh. We're going to have better results this year, but the, the people behind me, let's stick together all the oil and gas and, and coal workers, nuclear workers, power plant workers. Let's put Mr. Trump, President Trump, over the line. Mark and you know he's uh, talking about all the things that happened when they they shut down everything they then closed up Keystone XL people forget 